السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين المعصومين الطاهرين. My name is Muhammad Al Muazzam, and I am currently serving as a fellow with the Congressional Leadership and Development Program sponsored by the Muslim Public Affairs Council. Over the next two months, I, along with other Muslims in my cohort, will have the amazing opportunity to intern in a congressional office, experience the American political world, and help to build the very foundations of our own future advocacy. As a Shia who was raised on the values and ideals of Ahlul Bayt, this opportunity, sponsored by the Shia Muslim Council to raise awareness about the importance of young Shia involvement in politics, means something special. You see, the world has never been statistically more peaceful, yet never have we been more aware about the injustices and problems faced by community after community around the world. Many of our own stories as young Muslim Americans begins with our own families leaving their ancestral homes, their heritage, their families, in the pursuit of a better life. Yet, even this pursuit was not done for themselves, but it was done for the families that they either already had or hoped to have here in the United States. This new generation, my generation, represents the new face of Islam in the West that grew up in an interesting contrast of identities. We were as Arab as we were American, as Eastern as we were Western, representing a beautiful combination of culture. Yet one thing that has continued to rise above all is our continued association and love for our Shia identity. I remember when I was a kid in elementary, junior, and high school during the months of Muharram. I'd go from speaking slang English at school to crying over the majalis of Abi Abdullah, and even as a kid, this had a profound impact on me. I began to realize that there was something deeper, something more, than the professional, academic, and social paths that we are all on in this modern society. Something that transcended the material idea of simply living a good life and paid forward both for this world and the next. We as the Shia of Ahl al-Bayt are surrounded by the stories of our Imams and the stances that they took against every injustice that was prevalent in their society. From the very revelation of the Qur'an to Nabiyina Muhammad and its wide-ranging social reforms, the struggles of Imam Ali before and during his reign, the diplomacy of Imam al-Hassan, and the fight of Imam al-Hussein and all of our Imams. We are the children of social and political advocacy towards what's right. Today, that responsibility falls on us. Not only in the fulfillment of our Shia obligations, but in the true preparation for the Dhuhr of the Mahdi. Although the political world, especially one as increasingly volatile as ours, is difficult to enter, Alhamdulillah, there have already been those who have worked tirelessly to pave the way for the future of Islam in America to have a voice. The CLDP program is a perfect example of that. Beginning in the summer of 2015, this program takes young Muslim Americans directly to Washington, D.C. and works with them to secure an internship in Congress. Through this amazing opportunity, we have the unparalleled foothold to network, gain legislative experience, and not only advocate for, but be an active part of the Islamic voice in Washington. Our families came to this country to give us a better life, one that they didn't have. And today we have the unalienable right to stand up, to protest, and to advocate not only for our community, but for many other communities across this nation and world. We have carried on the memory of Karbala for over a millennia, yet Karbala was not just the battle of Ashura. Karbala was not merely the raising of the sword in battle, but it was the raising of Sayyida Zainab's voice in Damascus. It was the speech of Imam Ali in Damascus that day. And today, we learn from Karbala in embodying the story of Zainab by getting involved, by protesting, by standing up, and by being true Shias of Ahl al-Bayt. In doing so, we cement the oath that many of us recite every day after Fajr to the Imam of our time. We support our words with our actions and let him know that we are not merely waiting for his duhur as an excuse to begin the work, but that we call on him to lead, to guide, and to support the work that we have already begun in his name. The CLDP program is a beautiful way to work with young fellow Muslims in helping to strengthen the voice of our community and in doing so, strengthening the voice of justice. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين.